Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about update cart quantity. So let's see how can we update the cart quantity in cart. For updating the cart quantity, uh, let's create function inside the controller. Okay, uh, let's create two functions. One function for increasing the cart quantity and another function for decreasing the cart quantity. Okay, so switch to the project. And let's open the cart controller. So just go inside the app directory, then HTTP controllers, and uh, from here let's open cart controller. Now here uh, let's create a function for increasing the cart quantity. So right here public function and function name increase cart quantity. Okay. And inside this, just pass here one argument, which is row ID. Okay, and now inside this function, just write here dollar product is equal to card column column instance. And inside this, just pass here the instance name, which is card, and then call the get method and uh, get the uh, product according to this row id so just pass here the row id dollar row id okay and now just increase the quantity so right here qty is equal to dollar product arrow qty plus one okay and now update the card so right here card this one instance card and then update update method and inside this uh, inside this update method just pass your row id and then quantity updated quantity this one and now uh, return back to the uh, card so right here return redirect back this one okay and now let's create another function for decreasing the card quantity so right here public function and function name decrease card quantity okay and also pass here the row id and now let's copy this line and paste here and uh, just remove this plus sign and for decreasing just add here minus okay now save this now let's create the route for this method okay so go to the web.php file the routes folder web.php and here let's create the route route colon colon get uh, for updating let's use here the put method okay not get put and then cart uh, slash increase increase okay quantity and also pass here one uh, one parameter which is row id all right now add here the controller name inside the big bracket card controller okay then column column class add here the function name let's copy this function name increase card quantity Okay, and now give the route name, which is card dot increase uh, card dot uh, qty dot increase. Okay, and now let's copy this and paste here. Uh, just write here decrease okay and also change the function name so let's copy this one and paste here and uh, add the route name qty dot decrease okay now save this all right now go to the cart view so go inside the resources directory views uh, and uh, let's open this one cart dot dot php file and for increasing or decreasing the card quantity, let's find here the button. So inside this table, 
you can see here this is the button this is the button for the reducing the quantity and uh, this is for increasing the quantity okay so first of all uh, let's uh, add here uh, before this increase quantity button div let's add here the form and method let's say post action and inside this section just add here route and this route name okay cart dot quantity dot increase so right here inside the single quote and pass here the parameter which is row id the row id uh, arrow sign and then item arrow row id okay and uh, now close this form and after this tip just close here the form tag and now inside this form tag just add here the at the rate csrf and also add here the uh, method directive method and pass here the method put okay and now let's copy this form and paste even before this and reduce uh, div okay just before this div and close after this div okay uh, let's change here the route name so let's copy this decrease and just paste here decrease okay all right this is the form for uh, decreasing the card quantity and this is the form for increasing the card quantity okay now uh, let's add here some javascript code so after this add here the post directive and add here the post name the stack name which is the scripts okay cut this and paste inside the single code now add the script tag the script close this script and then add here javascript method which is this one dollar function this is sort hand for document uh, dot ready okay and now inside this curly bracket uh, let's copy the class name for increasing the quantity okay so this one qti dash control underscore increase so right here dollars and dollar sign then dot this class and let's bind here the click event so right here on click this is the event name add here the callback function and inside this uh, simply submit the form so right here dollar this dot logist logist okay form and then call the submit method submit and now let's copy this and add here the semicolon and paste and now change the class for reducing the cut quantity so let's copy the class in this one and paste here and now save this file now it's done so let's check this so save this file and uh, go to the cart page and just refresh the page okay now let's increase the cart quantity for this product so just click on plus icon this time you can see here the price 250 and subtotal is 250 now increase the quantity 
okay and you can see here the price 250 quantity 2 and subtotal price 500 okay now increase this uh, product quantity to okay single product price is 22 and uh, for two forty four dollar okay now increase one more time it's working now let's decrease the quantity okay one error the post method is okay let's check method put method decrease quantity okay let's check the form all right one thing is missing here so just copy this one at the rate csrf and this method directive okay now save this file and go back refresh the page okay you can see here this is the three quantity now let's decrease so click here it's reduce uh, reduce decrease the quantity okay two and also decrease the sub return one more time one quantity and price is 22 and if i click one more time you can see here product has been removed from the card okay So in this way, you can update the card quantity in Laravel Commerce project inside the card. Okay. In next video, we will see how can we delete and clear the product from the card. So that's all about updating the card quantity. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.